After four minutes and 45 seconds of play, that's the time on the clock. The Met at Bloomington will have passed into history. A lot of people are glad of not having to come up here in December to play football. <laughs> Fourth down one. Bledsoe the call. I don't know if he did it or not. I don't think he did it. Scott Studwell made the stop. The fans don't think he made it. The Vikings don't think he made it. The officials don't think he made it. Now, the ball goes over. That was a great hit by the Vikings on that play. You know, you mentioned something, Jim. Uh, there's a lot of nostalgia here today. The there fans is. now hoping their Vikings can come up with, with a victory, and we'll come back and talk about nostalgia in the final four and a half minutes of Met history right after this. Merle Herman and Jim Turner with you at Metropolitan Stadium in Bloomington. You don't associate a graphic statistic like that with Minnesota. No, you don't. Not at this time of the season. At the 29, first down Minnesota. The Vikings trail by four. And their fans are trying to cheer them on to victory. Kramer completes this one at the 38-yard line. The Tony Galbraith, the fullback, and Herb Christopher makes the tackle. A gain of nine. It'll be second down and one. Second down, one. Vikings go for the first down and get it with Ricky Young. Art Still, 67, the defensive end, the great All-American out of Kentucky. He missed five games this year with an injured knee. He stopped, and Kramer had led one of the most explosive offenses prior to that, mainly in the air, and he zips one to Galbraith, and... He completes it to the 46-yard line. He had to short arm that pass and almost side arm it. Almost at the same an time. underhanded shovel, you bet. Down six coming up. Who's he going to go to? Well, my guess would be Rashad or Sensor. Rashad, two catches, 37 yards. Sensor in motion to the left. Kramer to Sensor. There he is, and Sensor down to the 41. And he is brought down by Herb Christopher, first down Minnesota, and Sensor has gone over the 1,000-yard mark in, in pass receptions this year. A sensational year for Pro Bowler Joe Sensor. And that's quite a mark for a tight end. There we see the graphic. Fifth Viking ever to gain 1,000 yards receiving in a season. A tribute not only to him, but to Tommy Kramer and the offensive staff of the Vikings. But for a tight end, that, that's quite an accomplishment. Sammy White has gone over the 1,000-yard mark today. First down, Minnesota. Two minutes, eight seconds to go. Kramer on the run. Galbraith. Galbraith down inside the 30 to the 27-yard line as we've hit the two-minute mark. Galbraith, the first down as Green and Barbaro made the stop. And with a minute 58 left to play, Kansas City 10, the Vikings 6. Can Bud Grant and his Minnesota Vikings win the 100th game in Viking history here at the Met? The last game to be played here. We have a minute 58 seconds left to go, and at the four-minute mark, the fans decided to get behind the Vikings. And you can't tell me that Tommy Kramer and the, and the offensive team out there don't feel this. Momentum has changed. The fans are pushing for a victory. Two more minutes in this stadium. Kramer, 15 to 35, 140 yards. First down to the Kansas City 28. Sammy White in motion. Goldberg at the five, first and goal. Eric Harris, the right quarterback of the tackle. What an outstanding call by Tommy Kramer. Everybody went with Rashad, which left uh, Galbraith wide open. You tell me this isn't a <laughs> possibly a Cinderella finish. First down goal. Cal Peterson has come in for Kansas City. They beef up the front. Minute 12 left to the game. Galbraith stopped at the four. May have got three. Make that Ricky Young. Beg your pardon. Ken Kramer, 91, the nose tackle, making the stop. We're inside the one-minute mark. What do you call, Merle? You run it in. Kansas City's been tough. You pass it in. You've got an extremely Throw. agile tight end and sensor. You've got the old Wiley veteran in Rashad. What do you do? 37, 36 seconds left to go in this game. Throw, or is he? He does. Incomplete. Clock stopped with 24 
seconds remaining. That was not a good call. Not a good play to call. He rolled out. Kansas City was waiting for that one. I think he's got to spread his receivers out. He's had success the whole time. You know, Tommy Kramer has been so successful under the gun in pressure. 24 seconds left to play in the ball game. We were looking possibly for two tight ends. No, one is in there. Sensor. The wide receivers are on. Rashad split to the right. White in the slot right. He's splitting them up right now, Merle. He's going to open this thing wide open. It is third down and goal. Oh, Galbraith oh, into oh, the middle oh, of the Chiefs. Stop him. Just about at the line of scrimmage. You see Mike Bell, 99 there as the clock <laughs> runs to 19 seconds. A field goal won't do it. It is 10 to 6. Kansas City as Minnesota takes its final timeout. I do not understand that call. Now they have to throw it and they have to score now. So Tommy Kramer and Bud Grant talk about it. And isn't it easy for us to sit up here in the booth? Oh, it's the easiest <laughs> thing in the world, isn't it? Yes. Jim, you stood on the sidelines many, many years, 17 years yes, of the NFL, years. In, and you were in situations such as this. Yes. How about tension? Is there any tension right now? Are these guys, I mean... No, not for those players on the football field. I'd say there's more tension for the Chiefs than there is the Vikings. The Vikings know what they're going to do. Here come the Vikings. Fourth down and goal. This is it. Incomplete, and that's what we were looking for because there was double coverage on Sensor. And the Kansas City Chiefs take the football. And what a play by their linebackers, number 53, Whitney Paul, number 51, Charlie Jackson. They were all over Sensor and all over the ball. 15 seconds to kill, and they will wind up in third place in the Central Division, or rather in the Western Division of the AFC. And if it does end up with a Chiefs victory, the Minnesota Vikings have lost five in a row. And Kansas City will have had its most wins since 1971, finishing with a record of 9-7. and seven. They just kill it now. 11 seconds. The board had showed no timeouts for the Vikings, but uh, the Vikings are pointing to the board. Yeah, we had one. But according to our report, no timeouts, and that's it. The Vikings were saying, no, we got one timeout left. The officials check said, no, you haven't. It's all over. And the Kansas City Chiefs have beaten the Minnesota Vikings in the finale in Met Stadium. 10-6 to 6 is a final score. And next year, the Vikings go to the Superdome as the fans swarm on the field to enjoy a part of the nostalgia as they say hello and goodbye to the Vikings for the 1981 season. The Kansas City Chiefs finish with a record of 9-7. and 7, And the Minnesota Vikings wind up with a 7-9 and 9 mark and down go the goalposts. And so from NBC we say goodbye to Metropolitan Stadium and thanks for the memories. Next year, the Metrodome. I'm Merle Herman with Jim Turner. Final score, the Chiefs 10 and the Vikings 6. Now stay tuned for all the scores and highlights of today's games as the NFL Report with Bryant Gumbel will be coming your way after these messages from your local station. With a joy I'd never seen.